Right guys, let's like kick it off, Mike. Yeah, exactly that. Um, really difficult. Uh, the final whistle there, obviously, giving locks a hug nearly got me, and then seeing how our supporters reacted. Yeah, it did, it made me emotional. I'm that kind of person. <laughs> and um, yeah, really difficult, difficult day. Um, what I said to our players and the staff in the dressing room afterwards um, was thank you. Um, they, along with our fans, along with carrying the board, have given me the best 18 months of my life. And um, I just wanted to thank I just wanted to thank them for that today. What well, we didn't get relegated because of today. This it was a combination of the you know the whole season. So today was a difficult day, but um, we've been on an incredible journey, and you know I'm just really disappointed that I'm the one responsible in the end, and and feel that way that that we've not been able to we've not been able to do it. Yeah, look, it's difficult to process the game. No. Um, I thought we showed some really good things to go one the lot. The spaces where we were where we thought they would be and we showed at times some real good quality to get behind them and get in some good areas, but we were also a little bit loose when, and, and, and turned over too many balls and that, that allowed them to get a bit more of a foothold in the game. They've got real quality players and, um, you know, we felt we our time was good, but they just came out with a, with a purpose and we, we looked maybe a little bit leggy, the heat, the pressure, not too sure, but ultimately just some of their quality told. Yeah, once they went two one up, we sort of rolled the dice and ended up with a lot of attackers on the pitch, you know, to try and we had to try and get something from the game and we weren't able to. Like I say, it's credit to them. They've, they've got some really good players and we, we you know, we came up short. I think he pulled his calf. Yeah, obviously at that stage we, you know, we were all right, one nil up, and um, that was that was disappointing. But um, you know, Click is an important player for us and came on, and, and uh, yeah, that, yeah, that was that. But we'll we'll see how Ross is. Yeah, very special. Not too sure you see that anywhere these days. In, it, we're in an age where people want results and want them right now. They want success and they want it right now. I think our supporters have shown a real intelligence and understanding and an incredible amount of support for us this year. Um, and, and I think that's because of what the players have given them over a long period of time now. The players have earned that. You know, we've been on this, this, this amazing journey together. Um, so that, yeah, that was very, very special at the end. West Ham fans clapped your players off as well. That, that showed what would this other people think Luton have made of this season. I, th I think so. We, we, we know we, clearly we haven't got enough points, we haven't got enough results. That's why we're in this position now. But I'd like to think that it's not about this, you know, earning people's respect or, or um, you know, because you want to you earn points. But but also we do want to do it a certain way and I think the fact that we've been brave, we've tried to, you know, we haven't stepped off teams, we've tried to, we have shown a lot of growth and a lot of improvement this year and, uh, and maybe we've earned one or two fans along the way um, or changed people's minds on us along the way. Yeah, it was very nice, it was touching how the West Ham fans were with us afterwards walking off. Well, is that a moment you can prepare yourself for if you feel about it a lot this week? How would we have I've tried to... I always try to think positively and, and um, it is a strange feeling. You know, it's my third year in management. There's a lot been a lot a lot has gone on in those three years. You know, we've won a lead title, we've been sacked, we've won promotion through the playoffs and now now relegation and uh, yeah, it's not dull. Um, I, I believed and going into today I really believed and half time really believed as well and, and, and We've thrown everything at it. We've just come up short in the end. This is, it's not anyone's fault. Ultimately, we've, you know, we had a difficult period for probably eight to ten weeks where we had a, we were missing a lot of people and the squad was thin and, and that, that was a huge challenge for us. And, I, and I'm not making excuses. A, a number of teams have had that as well this year. It was difficult for us. 
and um, yeah, in the end, in the end, this league has just just been a bit too much. How much have you taken from being in the Premier League and seeing your home? Uh, look, it's an amazing challenge. I've loved it, and at times I think we've shown that you know we've been able to compete with loads of teams, with everybody, uh, in, um, and and the growth and the improvement. I take a lot of pride in that. In, in our performances, how the players have stepped up and some of our players have looked like Premier League players. And um, and that, yeah, I take a lot of a lot of heart from. Um, I've loved it. And it fuels the fire to get back here. Just in terms of, I mean, obviously, you can tell your emotion now. David Moyes spoke to you afterwards. He's been relegated time for not. How long will it be before you and the club can sit down and think about a pathway? Because most people on the outside would not have thought that Luton would be in the Premier League. You say it's, it's the fire inside. The club obviously have their own kind of views about where to go, what's the same and everything. When, when do you sit down and talk about this? We've obviously got another big, another game, one final game at home that we will try and um, that we'll do our best in and want to show, going to try and go out on a high and, and show the best us. And we owe that to our supporters, ourselves, the league. Um, but I think knowing Gary, he'll want to get down to work very quickly. I don't think there's any other way. If we allow things to fester, we allow time to too much time to take place, then um, before really getting that plan together and by the way he um, he has to plan for all eventualities my focus has solely been on trying to stay in the league but there is a plan for both because now we've been in the Premier League we know what it gives you we, we'll be in a stronger place a stronger position than last time we were in the Championship to, to attack it there's, there's no doubt about that you know I would say last time there's been brilliant work been going on for a long time I think we got promoted with you know, we all know I'm not going to go on about it. one of the smallest budgets there was a huge gap chasm between us and the Premier League that won't necessarily be the case now we'll be we can be one of the stronger teams thanks guys thank you